there's no rugby at high school, there's no rugby. Um, I played soccer, played first team soccer like for my location and uh, yeah, I was also a sprinter. Always been with big boy but um, I was just fast. When I went to Devon, I actually went there to study. I had a neighbor there, like a guy that played rugby. So I'd see him going sometimes um, to train and all that, wearing his rugby shirt and everything. So I was like, man, can I uh, go with you one day and just start? Uh, I'm interested in this rugby thing and all that. So I was like, yeah, man, that's no, fun. I'm not you. big enough. You've got the body, you've got the heart and everything. I didn't even know what position I was going to play at that time. So. When I grew up, I didn't know about rugby, I didn't know about springboks and all that. All, all I wanted was to play for like Chiefs or Perry or, or, or in the fun of a fun or all that. So, um, like the passion for rugby grew in me and uh, like I committed myself. Um, I worked hard. After there was an admin um, at uh, Prince Club in Devon, then um, I, moved. I played a bit of lock as well. I was only scrambling at Lockhill. <laughs> never jumped in Ghana. Never jumped. And the following year, we went to two collegians together with the old that, uh, that played under 20 that year, 209. So when we got to collegians, I decided, no, I'm going to play prop now. Because, like, I, I could see, I could actually see now, these guys are, are big and uh, they just, uh, they're not fast, so I thought, no, I'm big enough, I'm strong enough to do the job and uh, it, will be, it will work on my advantage to, to um, cause I carry a lot of balls as well, so, so I decided, no, let just try this thing. I got a job first uh, in Devon, I was still playing uh, rugby for collegians and I got a job, I waited for like seven months. Um, the strive thing came, so I, I went to PE. When I got to PE, they told me no, the trials are in like three weeks time. And now I had to make a decision with my job because like the boss was putting pressure on me as well. That said, no, you have to make a decision. See that like you're coming back or what? So I told him, yeah, you know what? Uh, thank you for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate it. And I think I'm just going to give it a go. Uh, this rugby, I believe, I believe I can make it. Uh, so I went to the trials and I just worked hard and, and yeah. I have to say it's when um, uh, the try gets the ball. Yeah, actually I popped the ball to um, to uh, Timberland Bowley. Then I went. I was actually going there to clean, but I saw this big gap on my left when I looked up. So I just took the ball and uh, straight through. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's uh, beast Timberland Tamaria uh, because like. Um, when I started rugby, like he was already like playing for the Sharks, and I was in Deben, so I was looking up to him as a Springbok. And I, th I, th I thought to myself, no, this is where I also want to go. And I heard that he started as an eight man as well. So it's very, um, it's, it's fast to play the rugby that I like. He likes carrying as well as a prop, so he plays good rugby for me. So. I still want to, I believe with all my heart that uh, one day I'll be a Boker. So um, the Kings have given me the platform. They, they they've actually been patient for me, uh, with me, because uh, like when I got to the Kings, I actually like knew nothing about scrumming and everything. So they've been patient. They work with me, um, uh, scrums and my primary job, whatever. Like my, my, what my role is as a pro and all that. So they've actually been great to me. So I'm just gonna push for.